welcome to math park today we are going to learn about 3d shapes how many faces ages and vertices do the 3d shapes have we are also going to learn about euler's formula it's an important video please watch till end if you are new to the channel please like share and subscribe here we go let's start with today's video so what do you mean by 3d shape 3d d stands for dimensions so the shapes that have three dimensions that is length breadth and height are called 3d or three dimensional shapes so here is a shape it's a cuboid this is a length it has breadth and it has height so this is how it has three dimensions length breadth and height are the dimensions of given 3d shape which is a cuboid identify the shape yes it is a cube and can you think of few objects which are of same shape of a cube which you see every day in daily life you like to pay, play with rubik's cube so here are few rubik's cube the gift box right uh, this uh, jack in the box the dice all of these are the 3d shapes even the ice cubes this is what you see in daily life identify this shape yes it is a cuboid and think of the shapes yeah the buildings skyscrapers your television the washing machine okay the books all of these are having a shape of cuboid now guess this yes it's a sphere look at the spherical objects around a football right your globe your melon your tomato the oranges they are all spherical identify this one yes it is a cone and now it is the summer and we all like to eat some ice cream which comes in a cone so the 3d shapes which we see around you can see an ice cream cone you can see a loud speaker you can see a conical cap which you like to wear on birthdays all of that and the stamp stamping pad okay now identify this yes it is a cylinder and the few objects which you look around and which are cylindrical you can see your bottle your cola can right all of these are cylindrical in shape how can we describe these shapes so you can see a cube cuboid sphere cone and cylinder so we can use the words like faces ages and corners how many faces how many ages how many corners does it have right so faces are the flat surfaces uh, and the corners where the edges meet those are the corners where two faces meet are the edges of the 3d shape right so look at this this is a face where two faces meet is an edge and this is the corner or vertex we call it as a singular as vertex and for a plural we call it as vertices find the number of faces edges and vertices for each of the 3d shape given below the first one is a cube so how many faces does it have how many edges and how many vertices does it have let's find out so the flat faces so we have six faces we have 12 edges and we have eight vertices the same is the case for a cuboid cuboid also has six faces 12 edges and eight vertices now there is a relation between faces edges and vertices so famous mathematician euler he found the relation between this and then that is known as euler's formula which says f plus b is equal to e plus 2 does it say that f stand for faces v for vertices and e for edges so for a cube the number of faces is 6 the vertices are 8 so 6 plus 8 is 14 and number of edges is 12 and 12 plus 2 is also 14 so this is true for all the shapes remember so euler's formula f plus v is equal to e plus 2 just remember that let's move on now you can see a sphere a cylinder and a cone find the number of faces edges and vertices for each of the 3d shapes shown below okay so for sphere the number of faces are 1 a curved face edges no edges zero vertices also zero no corners 
for cylinder the faces are three so which faces the curved faces one curved face and two flat circular faces that is how three faces now ages are two these are the two curved ages at the top and the bottom and zero vertices for a cone the faces are two again one curved face and one flat face here the ages <coughs> is only one the curved age and vertices the corner is one this one okay so this is what we have seen now can you identify the figures given below what difference do you observe in these figures how are the tops and bottoms can we sort this figure in two different categories if yes then what are they so the 3d shapes can be categorized into two different categories prisms and pyramids a 3d shape with two identical parallel faces all other faces are rectangles remember this is a prism is a 3d shape with two identical parallel faces and all other you can say the lateral faces are rectangles for pyramid a 3d shape with a polygon base polygon a closed figure made up of line segments and as a triangular faces that those all meet at a point so this is the difference between a prism and a pyramid now a prism a 3d shape with two identical parallel faces all other faces are rectangles so you can see a triangular prism here so bottom and top so prism is named based on its base so triangular base so that is why it is a triangular prism so side wise you will find three rectangles over here this is a cuboid you can call it as a rectangular prism and a pentagonal prism because base and top are pentagons okay then this is a hexagonal prism base and top are hexagon the side faces are all rectangles uh, a heptagonal prism seven sided figure is called a heptagon base and top are heptagons and you can see the side wise rectangles again lateral faces are rectangles find the number of faces ages and vertices for each of the 3d shapes given below now these are the prisms the first one is a pentagonal prism so the faces here are 7 the ages are 15 the vertices are 10 for a hexagonal based prism the faces are 8 the ages are 18 and the vertices are 12 so important thing to note here children in case of a prism so you can see the base a pentagon which has five sides so the number of faces are always number of sides plus 2 remember number of sides plus 2 the ages will be number of sides multiplied by 3 and vertices is number of sides multiplied by 2 two times number of sides two times the side right so now look at this vertices here are six so you have you can see six into two ages are six three is a 18 and faces are six plus two so just remember number of sides plus two number of sides plus two you get faces number of sides multiplied by three you get ages and number of sides multiplied by two you get vertices okay again euler's formula is it satisfied here f plus b is equal to e plus 2 f faces are how many here 7 vertices are 10 7 plus 10 is 17 ages are 15 and 15 plus 2 is also 17 so this is how euler's formula is uh, satisfied for any of the solids that you can see any 3d shape you can see in the nature okay now about let us understand about pyramids a 3d shape with a polygon base and a triangular faces that meet at a point right so this is a tetrahedron tetra meaning four so triangle based pyramid is called a tetrahedron it is a square based pyramid base is a square and side wise you will see the triangles this is a pentagon based pyramid hexagon based pyramid and a heptagon based pyramid okay now find the number of faces ages and vertices for the 3d shape given over here this is a triangular pyramid so let us find the faces ages and vertices so faces this is 1 2 3 and 4 so faces are 4 here ages 1 2 3 and 4 5 
and six. Right? So edges are six. And the vertices is down three plus one. One, two, three, and four. So three plus one, four. Right? So in case of pyramid, what are we observing? In case of pyramid, what we observe if the triangular base pyramid, so sides are three, right? The number of sides is three. Number of sides are three. So number of faces is three plus one. Number of sides plus one. Ages is two times that of sides. So three multiplied by two. And vertices is again number of sides plus one. Just remember. Okay. Let's go for the next solid, a square base pyramid. Let us find the faces, ages, and vertices. One, two, three and four and five so the faces are five four plus one five age is one two three four five six seven eight so eight ages it is two times four what i says one two three four five so again it is four plus one so vertices you just have to add one for a side faces add one to the number of sides of a base and ages just multiply number of sides into two okay now the find the number of ages faces and vertices for each of the 3d shape given below these are again uh, pyramids is a pentagonal base pyramid and a hexagonal base pyramid so let us find the number of faces so faces here are 6, again pentagon, 5 plus 1, 6, 5 twos are 10, vertices again 5 plus 1, 6. Easy trick I have told you, faces 6 plus 1, 7, 6 twos are 12 and 6 plus 1, 7 again. Now let us understand nets. So a net is a pattern that you cut out and fold to form a 3D shape, right? When you cut open, what you get is a net. So here is a net of a cube. So this type of boxes, cardboard boxes, when you cut open, what we get is called a net, right? And this is the net of a cube. A cube has six square faces, so the net has six squares. You can see all of these are the squares. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? <clears throat> How many nets do you think you can come up to form a cube? So remember, children, there are exactly 11 nets that form a cube and these are here. So this is a question which is important. How many nets do you think can come up with a cube? So it has exactly 11 nets. Okay, guess how would a net of a cuboid look like? It looks like this, six faces. Nets of pyramids have one base and many triangles, remember. So pyramid, this is the base, square base pyramid. And how many triangles? Four triangles. A pentagon will have a base pentagon and five triangles. A hexagon base pyramid will have a base as hexagon and six triangles. <clears throat> so square base pyramid, pentagon base pyramid and hexagon base pyramid. Sometimes they look like. So what do you see here? What is this shape? So a triangular prism, it has two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. So the net has two triangles and three rectangles, okay? So two triangles, one, two, and three rectangles. A heptagonal prism has two heptagonal faces and seven triangular faces. So the net has two heptagons and seven triangles. This is the net of a heptagonal prism. Which of the following is the net of a cube? How will you identify? So remember the cube has six faces. So here, how many? One, two, three, four, five. So not possible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, not possible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. And here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is how only this one will form a net of a cube. Okay. Which of the following is a net of a cuboid? Again, remember a cuboid has six faces. So the one net which has a six rectangles will form a net of a cuboid. And the answer is this one. Okay. Identify the 3D shapes that can be formed using the following nets. Okay. So this is a net. Which 3D shape can be formed? The first one. Come on. Yes. It is a square based pyramid because the pyramid has lateral faces as triangles. This is a heptagonal prism. Two congruent parallel faces. 
this is a pentagonal pyramid this is a triangular prism and this is a pentagonal prism okay so this one task you are going to complete okay you can pause the video and complete this yourself and this is another task for you to complete complete this task okay and put the answer in the comment section and if you like the video please share with your friends thank you for watching have a good day